So welcome back for 2020. I hope you had a great holiday and a wonderful new year. And let's make 2020 our most creative yet. I got quite a number of responses from subscribers interested in certain topics and some sent me images to look at. But the first one I thought I wanted to look at is the idea of edges. Because edges, it's like when we're painting, it's almost like we're playing two-dimensional chess. We create the structure, like in this diagram, and then the structure informs the image. But the two are done in conjunction. So as you clothe the image, you're actually using the structure, the armature, to adjust your edges so the eye is going where you want it to go. And I'll show you some diagrams and ideas on that now. So I think you'll find that really useful, and I'll see you at the end. Bye for now. This is a plein air painting I did in Provence, and I just want to show you the structure of the way I was seeing it. The horizon kind of runs here. There's a good strong vertical there, taking us into here. Now, there's obviously other verticals and other angles coming in and other horizontals. But that's the main structure there. We could say that was the structure again, pretty much what I was just saying, like this, with the secondary elements and bringing us into here, this being the green of the vines and that being the back of the road. But this diagram is what I want to talk about in terms of edges. This diagram has all the different lines, all the different color shapes, but the edges are exaggerated, as in here, based on the contrast between the edges. When we talk about edges, what we're really talking about is contrast between color shapes. I mean, if you look at this edge here in the painting, it's aware, we're aware that this is a lit side and this is a dark side, but it's very, very subdued in terms of contrast. The strongest contrast is right here, and so that line is the harshest, is the, is the strongest contrast. The second most would be this pink, that white, and the blue. So those are the ones with the strongest pull visually to bring us into here. Now we also see the contrast of this dark tree and this one against the sky. But if you look at the painting, but when you look at the painting, you see that your eye gets pulled here but it won't stay there. It'll get drawn back to the center of interest. So when you're talking about edges, what you're talking about is the contrast between color shapes. And the trick is like that two-dimensional chess of orchestrating all the color shapes. Look at how little contrast there is here. How little contrast there is here compared to, say, here. Look at how little contrast there is between these two shapes here compared, say, to those there. Because I don't want you to look here. I want you to be coming in this direction. I don't want you to look here. I want you to be coming in this direction. So you certainly don't reduce all the contrast. But let's just look at three different places. And I'm going to exaggerate the color and see what it does visually. So the first color I did is this pink up here. And look now, when you're looking at the painting with the idea that you want us to look here and here, look at the way that pink is pulling your attention up to there. Not so it doesn't work at all, but you can clearly see it's a little bit of not quite sure where I'm supposed to look now. Uh, so let's look at this one. Now we have a uh, vine in the foreground with contrasts that perhaps are stronger than back here. 
and you can see that when you're looking at the painting, your attention is just getting sucked right down to there. So, you know, you look at a passage like that of pretty loose brushwork, or say in there, the two colors here and here, and here and here, have been orchestrated to work within the structure. So here's a third example of a color that's been enhanced that just pulls our attention really from where we want over to here. And yet if you look at it, it's the kind of brushwork, at least as a teacher I often see students put in, that sort of says, oh, it's vibrant and it's good color and it makes it interesting. And yet if it's here and you want us to go here, you've obviously created a problem. So it's a question of balancing these different parts together, juggling all the different pieces together to create a whole that works in the context of the original structure that you had in mind. So I hope you found that useful. Next week I'm going to start, I mentioned it last year actually, um, the idea of my walking around a subject and looking at various different angles at it to find the most engaging and dramatic composition. So I think you'll find that useful. And the other thing I mentioned a couple of times is looking at this painting by Titian, Bacchus and Ariadne. Um, it's a beautiful painting, big, with a lot of figures in it. So it's a very complex structure, but I think it's really interesting. You know, if you're going to the museum, for example, and you're looking at paintings, you, know, you can admire different things in paintings, but if you can somehow sit there analyzing the structure, you find that there's often a lot of thought that goes into these things in order to get them to work. So we'll look at that next week. So have a great week, and um, till next Tuesday. Bye for now.